Hi and welcome to the North Wing of Aurelia. This is challenge accepted and how this usually works is via lag. Uh, no, leave a comment in the comment section below with your challenge and whichever one gets the most thumbs up is the one I will try and do the following Monday. Today's is, that is a lot of people, kind of a weird one. It was, it's popped up a few times and it is basically do a survival mission without opening any of the oxygen container. We did one kind of like this that was more of a, how do you put it, survive without killing anything, which technically I failed and then I redid and failed that one as well because, uh, yeah, uh, I killed something. <laughs> I slid into them, which was kind of a pain in the backside because I did not purposely kill them but it was still a kill so technically that was a complete and utter fail. So this time can kill things but cannot open oxygen containers. Can pick up oxygen just can't open the life support things that are dropped. Okay this one was actually pretty damn simple. Uh, this is the Clem Alert and to be honest, this thing has just, it's gone really well. I haven't had to open any containers. I've stayed in the same two rooms. I've actually just reached, I think that's the limit of containers I can actually have on the map. And okay, yes, this was not a, a great mission. It was not the hardest of missions to do it on, but it worked. I mean, it's not like there's a lot of uh, survival alerts where you can last 10 minutes. Some come in, some don't. Sometimes there's some, sometimes there's really none to do. So this one was just kind of a... I know the claim tends to be survival, so I went in and I did it. I was busy doing something else at the same time, hence the reason I had to start kind of this late into the, uh, the actual survival itself. But going to kind of make this a quick... Okay, I saw numbers. Somebody was in here. Oh, chest. I'll take it. But yeah, this was more kind of a, a quickie than anything else. Because, yeah, I did not actually think I would last 10 minutes doing this without opening any of the oxygen containers. It just, I got lucky with the spawn more than anything else. And I know the oxygen has gone down a lot since I started recording but that's because I've been running around most of the time I've kind of been just standing here and annihilating everything that comes around and not only that but for some reason I've stopped dropping oxygen since the time I stopped yeah they actually have stopped dropping oxygen I've just realized that okay um new challenge how long can you survive after the 10 minutes because they stopped dropping oxygen do have the original ones there, so why not? Let's see how long this will go. Just for the pure hell of it. Because I have a lot of these containers laying around. Because obviously the original challenge kind of worked out really well. Wow. Um, yeah. I kind of wish this was on a different planet though, because they have dropped quite a bit of gallium. Alerts are really good for getting the hard to find resources. Uh, Oregon cells or Oroken cells, depending on how you look at it. There is also, which I think is the one, neural sensors on Jupiter. If you get an alert that pops up on Jupiter, do it because you have more chance of getting the, the neural sensor to drop. They just seem to have higher drop chances in alerts than they do most other things. I have not left, this is before the beginning of this mission. I, the first oxygen thing there was the first one that came in. I have no idea what, no! Nice of it to see, oh, Clem's down. Jeez. That could go horribly well. Ow, ow. Yeah, let's get out of here. Come on, Clem. There was one of the oxygen things from before. Clem, don't stay up there. Come, come. We'll go to the next room, see what's in there. Because I have not not been past this room, so the rest of these oxygen containers are weird. Wow, there's a lot of stuff upstairs. 
smash them all open. Oh no, there's oxygen. It's actually coming from oxygen um, from smashed containers. Because obviously I haven't been down here. Nice. Oh, that's a resource. Plastids. I'm trying to get it to kind of spit out some of these rare things, so my point is not does not make me look like a complete nut or idiot. Yeah, oxygen stuff everywhere. Which is great. I proved a while ago that surviving 12 minutes a lot of the time with just that stuff is in fact possible. And it's not only possible, but it's fun as hell to do a survival for 12 minutes without opening any oxygen containers. But also surviving the, a 10 minute survival alert without opening any oxygen things, just killing enemies, is also possible and even more fun. So yeah, I used to have major issues running survival solo because I would just die. I would run out of oxygen, there wasn't enough enemies or silly things like that. But since doing that first um, challenge of do a survival, last 10 minutes and don't die, or survive as long as possible without killing anyone. I failed that one technically because I did or I didn't purposely kill anyone but I did accidentally kill somebody. I even took a second attempt at that one and failed again. This one, you know, there were 10 minutes survival alert without opening any of these was pretty easy. What I didn't expect was to then manipulate it just a little bit into kind of survive on the rest of them for as long as you can. I mean this has been going for quite a while now and I'm still going and I haven't had to open any more of the oxygen thing. Um, well I haven't got any more of the oxygen things from killing people. So uh, survival missions don't have to just solely be about surviving. They can also be about being weird and your problem is when doing a tactical alert uh, this isn't a tactical alert. Yeah. Doing an alert and trying to stay alive for as long as possible. The enemies will still start to get stronger. They stop dropping oxygen. Yep, these guys have gone up. And uh, originally they were level 15s. But yeah, I need to get to these pretty quickly. Because there's only three of them left. It's also stopped dropping them, which I have also noticed. So he stops dropping them, and the enemy stops dropping them as well. So surviving these can be a bit of a pain after it's done, and you do not get any rewards after the five minutes has passed. Because the alert itself has usually got something for it, that's why you do it. This one, as I say, this is just the Clem one. Unfortunately, it has also just clicked in my head that it will not tell me how long I have been going for since the alert actually ended because the timer in the ending or in the reward screen, whatever that's called, stops at 10 minutes. Everything stops at 10 minutes. Everything after that is just carry on if you want, but you don't really have to anymore. This is done. Uh, what is hitting me? There you are. I do not have any survive, uh, revive. No, wait, I do. I only died twice. That's because the G3 guy spawned during this mission. Because it's a Clem mission. Which was fun. Right, this is the last one, so I'm going to grab this, head towards an exit. And see how... I guess how long, however long this was is however long this video I ended up being, I guess. Because I started actually recording this about a minute before it ended which might not have been the best thing to do, but I was recording something else at the same time. This is one of those challenges that, technically, it's Wednesday. And I need to cough. Yeah, it's actually Wednesday. Uh, this will be next week's challenge. Usually I do the challenges on a Monday, but I'm not going to be here on Monday to do that. Well, I am going to be here, but I have some other stuff that I will be doing on Monday, so I will not ha be available to do this on Monday. I was in this, and it just suddenly kind of clicked that, yeah, while we're here, let's do this at the same time. And, yeah, it worked really well. And then doing this has worked even better. I cannot believe how long we are actually surviving here. 
considering nobody is dropping anything anymore. Paloma Bundles. Love those Paloma Bundles. Yeah, going to have to head towards the exit now. Finally. I really am looking forward to see how long this is. I'm kind of hoping the exit screen does kind of say that you went X longer. But I know from experience it tends to stop. About And there's an oxygen thing over there. But I've got... At 20, I will head towards the exit. Come on, Clem. If you go down, I'm not coming back for you. <laughs> Clem! Rotten. Clem? Clem! Oh, Clem! There you are. Uh, I didn't shoot them. You can't prove it. It's not in video evidence anyway. I may have to... Nah. I was going to say, I'll cut that out and then there'll be no video evidence anyway. And... Done. That is roughly how long you can survive after. But as I say... This is still going to say 10 minutes, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, I'd only dropped two gallium. I thought I dropped more than that. Why is the orange dropping? Wait, orange! Yes, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, that's going straight into the dojo. Anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I didn't check what time it actually did because I haven't come out of this. I'm still in the relay. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.